Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel blog project tutorial for beginner. So in the previous tutorial, we show the blog post over here and here you can see the read more button. So in this tutorial, what we want is that when we click on this read more button, it will take us to another page where we will be able to see all the details of this specific post. So here we only have the image and the title, but, but when we click on this read more button, it will take us to another page. And in that page, we will also see the image and title, but we will also be able to see the description of this post, of a specific post, okay? So let's go to our code. And first of all, we will go to our uh, views and inside views, we have home folder and inside home folder, uh, here you can see services.blade.php and here you can see all the post over here, whatever post we are seeing over here, those are coming from here, from this forage loop and here you can see the read more button and here we have the anchor tag so first of all in this anchor tag we need to mention a route so we'll give to second bracket then we'll show our here url to first bracket to single quotation and let's say our route name will be post underscore details and we also need to get the specific id for a specific post it means when we click on this button it will get the id of this post if we click on this read more button it will get the id of this post okay so for it all we need to do is that here after this post details we need to give a comma over here and we'll say over here this dollar post so we'll say here dollar post this arrow sign id okay so let's save this so right now if we just refresh our browser and then if we click on this read more button here you can see at the url we can see the id which is 7 so if we now click on this read more option or button here you can see the id which is 22 so if i show you the database over here here you can see we have the id 7 21 and 22 which is which we are seeing over here okay so right now we need to go to our web.php and create the route so let's go back to code and we'll go to routes then web.php and let's just directly go down and over here let me just uh, copy this route control c and i'll paste it over here so the route will be get not post and here instead of edit underscore page we'll say over here post underscore details post details to first bracket we'll mention the dollar id over here then from here just right now we'll just return a view let's say here return view to first bracket to single quotation and we'll create a blade file in this home folder so let's say over here home dot let's say post underscore details let me just copy this control c and we'll paste over here control v and we require to have the id over here because we are sending the id from here as well so here we'll use the home controller not admin controller we we'll say here home controller and we need to mention the class name let's say the class name will be post underscore details the same thing so let's save this so right now we'll go to our home controller and create this function so let's put our app http controller and home controller so let's just directly go down and here we are going to say public function so let's just save this so, so right now we'll go to our home folder over here and create a blade file called post details so let's just right click over here click new file let's over here post details dot blade.php control s and save so here you can see post details dot blade.php is created so right now let's just say over here simple h on tag and let's say here details page let's save this so right now what will happen is that whenever we click on this read more button it will go to our web.php and call this function in the home controller and our home controller will return this view post details which is this one so right now let's just refresh here again and let's click on the read more button and here you can see it took us to the details page over here and we also have the id at the top so right now first of all we'll uh, have the design over here some design from this page here you can see so for it what we'll do is that uh, we'll just directly go to our home then homepage.blade.pc so from here i'm just going to copy everything from here control a control c and let's just remove this 
and we are going to paste whatever we just copied from the homepage.blade.php so from here i am going to remove the banner section then i will also remove the services and about section let's just only keep the footer section and the header section so right now let's save this then let's just refresh here again then if you go to our read mode page okay the css is not working so just like before uh, what we need to do is that before this include home.css we need to show our here base href and inside this href we need to show our here slash public and you need to make sure that you write this before this home.css if you write this base href public after this it will not work css will not work okay so make sure to write this before the css let's save this then let's refresh here and here you can see we have the header section and only the footer section so inside them we will show the post details so right now uh, here uh, from the home controller we can send the specific data so here let's just uh, declare a variable over here dollar post equal to we need to mention the table model name which is post and we are going to say over here find to first bracket dollar id and since we are using the post model you need to make sure that you added the post model name at the top of your controller so after this uh, we'll send this dollar post variable to this view so here we are going to say comma compact to first bracket to single quotation post so right now from this space we'll be able to get the specific data for a specific post so let's go to our post underscore details and here after this div if we just say what here dollar post this arrow sign if you see our here title and we need to keep it inside to second bracket so if you now save this then refresh here here you can see the title over here so the same way we will also be able to get the image and the description so right now first of all we need to make a design over here so let me just go back to our code and we'll just go to the services.blade.php and from here we can just copy this and we will paste it uh, in the post details over here so let me just remove this paste it over here and let's just see how it looks uh, here you can see for getting data we also use the post variable over here so right now let's just save this and let's see how it looks so here you can see this is how it looks so right now what we want is that we want everything to be in the center so first of all let's go back to our code and here you can see div class column d4 so instead of column d4 we are going to show over here column d12 so let's save this then let's refresh here again and here you can see it become bigger so right now we need to have this in the center so for it uh, what we will do is that inside this div we are going to mention a style over here so the style will be let's say text align it will be center let's save then let's refresh here so the text is in the center so let's add some padding between the image and also between the text so for it what we will do is that uh, here in the image source we are going to say here style it will be padding padding will be 20 px let's say so let's save this and let's refresh here and right now there you can see some gap over here and we have the post title and post by admin so after this post title we will show the post details so for it what we will do is that uh, here let me just show about here the tag h4 again and here uh, let's just copy this control c control v and here we want to see the post details from here so i mean the description so we need to show about here in the code description so instead of title we are going to say description so let's save this let's refresh here and there you can see we can also see the description so let's make the post title a little bit bigger so instead of uh, h3 we are going to show what h4 we'll say h3 and we can also make it bold as well post title like this save this then refresh here okay so we can see the post title and the post description and post by admin but we do not require any read mode button over here right now so we can just remove the read mode button so we'll just remove this from here 
save then refresh okay so basically what is happening is that uh, let's just go back whenever we click on this read more button it will uh, it will call this route post details with the id so our post details this route will call the home controller post details function which is this one and our post detail function will get the specific id with the data store it in this variable and send this variable uh, or send the all the data for the specific post in this blade file and this blade file will show the data on by on first it will show the image then the title description and the person who upload the post so right now uh, i think it is fine so over here and one more thing i want to like mention that uh, in the previous tutorial here you can see the image height and length was different so i just add this in the services.blade.php i just add this style in the image here you can see margin bottom 20 px height 200 and width 300 px so it make all the image height and width same with some gap uh, at the bottom over here okay so we are able to successfully do this so right now let's try to log in and see if everything works properly or not so we'll just try to log in from here so let's go to the user at of gmail.com let's keep the password let's click login and here you can see currently we are logged in and right now if we just click on this read more button here you can see we are still able to see the post properly but the image height and length change so for it what we can do is that uh, here in the post details in the style we are going to mention the height it will be let's say 300 px and uh, width it will be 450 px save this refresh here okay image become a little bit smaller so let's just change it a little bit so here height will be let's say 400 and width will be 550 px save this then refresh here and we are going to say margin auto for this image so here inside this style we are going to say margin it will be auto so it will make the image center let's refresh here and there you can see so let's just log out from here so let's just go back and let's just log out from here and if we click on the read more button we can see the same height and width for the post okay so here i just notice one thing that i am not able to click on the login and registration button uh, for this detail page if i go to the normal page here it's working properly i can click on it but when you go to the details page over here not not being able to click on this link so right now for it uh, we need to make some changes in the header css so let's go back and here uh, if we just go to the services uh, so here we need to go to the header section so the header section code is basically this one so we'll go to the header dot blade dot php and here you can see that uh, we have a class over here container fluid and inside this class we have uh, all the login registration blog about all the links so here we are we are going to write some css for this container fluid so let's just copy it and let me just go to the home css.blade.php let's just go down let's say over here style and inside the style we'll give a dot then paste it the class name and here we're going to show position it will be relative and we need to mention z index z index will be on so right now let's save this and let's refresh here it should work now and if i now here you can see the link is working properly for the post detail page so yeah this is all about this tutorial in the next tutorial what we'll do is that uh, for the register logged in user we let the user add post from the dashboard so what we will do is that whenever the user is logged in we will show a like dashboard option over here and if if the user click on that dashboard option then it will take the user to another page and from that page user will be able to add blog post okay so thank you very much for watching this this is all for this tutorial if you want more tutorial like this then please make sure to subscribe if you have any question you can also let me know in the comment section so thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the future tutorial